Welcome back to another Top 5, brought to you by It's Mr. Skeleton. This time we're going to be tackling my Top 5 Pokemon. I will be listing my 5 favorite Pokemon, with the exception of Pikachu. Because let's be honest, Pikachu is everyone's favorite. Well, almost everyone. Most people at least. Once again, you can say your opinion on my list, but hate comments will be ignored. Let's commence the listing of 5 Pokemon. Number 5, Raticate. I know, I know. Starting off with that Pokemon, really, Mr. S? Well, yes actually. I'm probably one of the few who actually like Raticate. In my first playthrough of Pokemon Sun, I happened to get a Rattata, used it enough to evolve it, then became one of my main Pokemon used for a long time. Once it learns Hyperfang, it becomes a gnarly beast. Number 4, Flechinder. Gotta have at least one bird Pokemon to fly with, right? Of course, but I actually really like Flechinder. I caught a Fletchling and evolved it during my first playthrough of Pokemon Y. Aside from Moltres, I don't think I've seen many fire flying type Pokemon. Unfortunately, I didn't evolve into a Talonflame because I decided to be a dick and use Pokemon Bank to get all starters and original starters. Speaking of starters... Number 3, Typhlosion. I have never played the original gold or silver versions before, but I have played Heart Gold before. Though I never picked Cyndaquil, always pick Totodile. That is, until I find out you can catch the original Gen 2 starters in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Chikorita came first, then Totodile, and lastly came Cyndaquil. Evolved all of them, but in the end, Typhlosion became my all-time favorite of the three. When it learns Blast Burn, it becomes a force to be reckoned with. Number 2, Kyogre. Yes, a legendary Pokemon has made it to the list, Kyogre, the legendary water type Pokemon. For the simple reason, it's the first legendary I ever caught without the use of a Master Ball. Seeing as the original Sapphire version for the GBA is the first Pokemon I ever owned as a kid, getting Kyogre was really exciting for me. Sadly, I never actually beat Sapphire, I kept losing to the Elite Four champion. And number one, Snorlax. Yup, the big, fat, Sleeping, lazy, always hungry Pokemon Snorlax. When I got Pokemon Sun, it came with the Munchlax download code. Used it and got Munchlax. Evolved it into Snorlax and was not disappointed at all. Snorlax has become my all-time favorite Pokemon and still use him to this day. Once he levels up to a high enough level, he becomes a freaking tank. Massive attack and defense. And once he learns Giga Impact, that's it. He's a beast already before he learns that move and becomes an Ultra Beast after. And because he gains so much HP with each level up, he becomes a defensive wall. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. If you feel like typing, you can let me know your favorite Pokemon down below. And if you think there's something I can do to improve, let me know in the comments below. If you want more content like this, you can subscribe and hit the notification icon to be notified when I upload. But for now, take care y'all.